I would give anything, anything to be chasing him around. A life lost too soon, but a legacy that will live on forever. It's amazing what an impact he left. I'm Remy Murray in Illyria, where the family says they're still fighting to raise awareness in honor of Ashton. No kid deserves to go through what Ashton went through. No family deserves to go through what we went through. So that's what we're fighting for. This fight right here. The first time I met Joseph and Tara Taylor is when Ashton was in the fight of his life. Since his passing, it's been a long 15 months for the family as they continue to grieve the loss of Ashton, who died from pediatric brain cancer at just three years old. We have to learn how to live again without him. Tara admits this journey has been heavy for everyone. And we're hanging in there the best that we can. Another way Tara and her husband Joe say they're pushing through the grief is by raising awareness for pediatric brain cancer. We get to tell his story and express on how only 4% of the government funding goes to childhood cancer and then less than 1% of that 4% goes to pediatric brain tumor research. So as Pediatric Brain Cancer Awareness Month comes to an end, his family is calling for change. Getting to people and helping them understand what's going on and how little funding there is and the fact that there needs to be change that these kids deserve more than what they're getting. According to doctors at Cleveland Clinic Children's, pediatric brain cancer occurs when a child, teenager, or young adult experiences an abnormal growth in the brain that becomes a tumor. Dr. Stacy Zeller says one of the signs that occurs in patients is a severe headache that is associated with vomiting when a child first wakes up. Other symptoms, she says, include change in vision, irregular behavior, seizure activity, Activity and shaking. About 5,000 uh, pediatric patients per year in the United States will be diagnosed with the brain tumor. So in general, that's quite rare, um, but it is the most common cause of uh, death in pediatric cancer. While Dr. Zaller says some pediatric brain cancers are curable, some of the slower growing tumors are not, which is why she and Ashton's family say keeping the conversation going is so important. It's not okay, like something, something has to change. If there is anyone interested in raising awareness around pediatric brain cancer awareness, the family welcomes you to join their fight as they continue to grieve. In Elyria, Remy Murray, News 5.